meet Kyle Mazurby. He was diagnosed with autism at a young age, earned his Eagle Scout, was chosen as homecoming king of his high school, works for a school as a food worker, and has won many medals as an Olympic athlete, and he's also an amazing big brother. Here is a little glimpse into his life with a focus on Special Olympics. Enjoy. I'm Julie Mazurby, and I'm Kyle's mother. Hello, my name is Chris Mazurby, and I'm Kyle's father and also his Special Olympics coach. Kyle just did amazing things as a child. He was really great at directions. Um, he could point for me where students on his bus route lived before he could read. So that was pretty cool. Um, he loved Lion King as a child. And yeah, he was really fun. So we started trying to get Kyle diagnosed with um, we noticed when he was two and a half, three, he wasn't talking a lot, um, but everyone just kept telling us different things. So then it came to a point where we were less concerned with what Kyle had or what was wrong with Kyle. And we were more concerned about getting him services and just developing his talents and his education. So we put him in occupational therapy and speech therapy and early childhood. Um, and we just tried everything we could to get Kyle as many services as we could. Kyle Metherby. I get up about 6 a.m. I need oatmeal to pack my bags to go to the YMCA, going over by our review. I go in the locker room and get dressed for work at our review high school. I'm a food service server. I work in the kitchen there. My job is to tray up my a la carte and to serve. What TV? Power Ranger, and and I watch Chip. I go to the Centennial Hill YSA Ward. I'm a I'm the Ward Service Specialist. My favorite teacher was Mr. Cooper. He he was he he was he was my favorite teacher. He all wanted me to work at Arborview High School. I want to be like my teacher, Mr. Cooper. When Kyle was younger, my wife and I had a swim school that we taught a lot of kids how to swim. And Kyle decided to learn to swim and we taught Kyle to be a really strong, good swimmer. He was a member of a swim team for many years and also swam in high school where I too was his coach in high school swimming. After Kyle graduated from high school, um, we discovered the Special Olympics and Kyle decided to join the Special Olympics swim team. He was a member of the SEALs. Kyle has been a swimmer for about eight years for the Special Olympics. Um, he has won many gold medals in regional, state games, and even represented the United States in the World Games in Los Angeles in 2016. So that was one of my highlights as a mom, was watching Kyle swim on a swim team because um, throughout school, he was in self-contained classes a lot and he was never able to really compete um, with his peers in anything. And so when he found he had a talent in swimming and when he went and raced against other high school swimmers, um, it was really exciting just to see him do that and um, what he could accomplish. Um, he was really fun to watch race because he would do the butterfly and then he would look next to his competitor to see where they were at and he would smile at him. Or every time he did breaststroke, he'd come up and smile at each stroke. But um, Kyle's very competitive, so when the person in the lane next to him would get close to him, he would just start kicking harder and moving faster to stay in front of him. So. 
Um, Kyle has loved Special Olympics. It really is his network of friends. It um, provides him with direction and excitement and fun. And he just really looks forward to Special Olympics. He loves it. And he's a really great swimmer. Um, but he has tried a number of sports in Special Olympics, whether it's golf or football or soccer. I mean, even if he's not the superstar in those sports, he enjoys participating because he loves what it does. He loves winning gold medals. He loves being cheered for, and he loves making friends with the other athletes, and he likes exercising. So it's been really um, a source of fun for Kyle. And now our third and final event, swimming. Kyle Missouri is at the starting block. Are you ready? And go, Kyle, go. Look at him, he's super fast in the pool. Go, Kyle, one more lap. Go, go, go to the finish. And now our gold medalist in swimming, the butterfly, Kyle Mazzervi. I just sat up. I got up, started through, through swimming. I like to, I like the friendship. We swim hard. Get ready for regional. After regional, then we swim and get ready for summer game. We swim and get gold. At the world game, at the world game, we swim. We have practice at one of the college place. The butterfly. I got one gold and one silver. I like meeting the, the actor from the movie called the ringer bowling flag football and golf and soccer and basketball I like the team effort meeting meeting some new friends they try they try to do a sport in their in their life kyle has autism and asperger's um he's a super friendly nice kid um he likes to talk he just doesn't make a ton of friends, um, but swimming has always been his love. He's the best at butterfly, which very few people are very good at butterfly. We love Kyle, and Kyle is my oldest son, and he's been around us for 26 years, and he's been a great role model and example to my other kids. Because of Kyle, my other kids are a lot kinder and nicer to everybody. I'm TJ Maservi. That's my older brother. I've lived with Kyle ever since I was born, and I'm 15, so about 15 years. Uh, I like to kind of tease him sometimes, but at the end of the day, we're brothers, and he's a good spirit to have around the house. Yeah, he went to the World Games back in, like, 2015, and I went and cheered him on, and I've been to a couple of his swim meets, and basketball games and it's always fun going to those and watching him play sports. Yeah, I've tried to train him in basketball a little bit. He gets he gets so mad and he asks like he asks the same questions a lot and you'll answer it and then I'll ask it again and again and again. He's definitely taught me patience and to accept everyone in life and I'm grateful for that. Avery Maservi and I'm the baby of the family and Kyle's my older brother. Well, it's really cool because I can tell a lot of my friends and other people that I hang out with at school his stories, and I think it's really cool. Like how my brothers, he went to the World Games, he was in Special Olympics, and he's a really great swimmer. Well, he just gets a little angry sometimes, mostly with TJ, my other brother, but they get in some fights sometimes, but he's really nice. Yes, he always gets me stuff like water or just stuff that I need sometimes when I'm not feeling well or just whenever. I love him. Kyle is um, a little bit OCD, I guess you'd say. He's very planned, so it's difficult when you have to change the plan. He doesn't always adapt and adjust very well, so that's been a challenge. Um, sometimes. Him knowing the plan is a good thing because he reminds me of when my dentist appointments are. 
He, he knows everybody's schedule, what everyone's doing and when they're supposed to do it. And so I can't even keep track of myself, but Kyle keeps track of a whole bunch of people. So um, that can be good, but it can also be bad. I think one of Kyle's best qualities is he's very loyal and very determined. So um, he, when he wants to do something, um, he's in 110%. He doesn't just give, he just doesn't go in partially. And I've seen that with his Special Olympics. I've seen that with church. Um, he attends church every week, no matter what. Um, so I've seen that with his work. He would be one of your employees that would never be absent, would never be late, um, because he's super dependable. So that would be Kyle's best qualities. It's loyal and determined and dependable. What was your number one favorite thing about high school? Home, winning homecoming king. Is that Mr. Hayden now my name? And why did you like that? Because everybody was so nice to me at, at Arbor. And, and they voted for me. This brought our family a lot of joy and we have um, really enjoyed having Kyle in our family because um, he just has changed all of us. He makes us more accepting and loving to people and he has definitely helped us with being patient. So we've learned a lot of patience from Kyle um, just by our mere interactions with Kyle. <laughs> We've had to build some patience, um, but yeah, we've loved having Kyle in our family. Well, guys, when somebody asked Kyle Maservi how he spent his summer vacation, he's got us all beat. The young man from North Las Vegas recently represented Nevada and the USA at the World Games in Los Angeles. Wrapped around Kyle's neck is something he'd love to share with the world. It's these three Olympic medals he brought home from the Games. It was a proud moment. Their kindness towards each other and their sportsmanship was, you know, they're high-fiving other people that they're competing against and, and then all the countries cheering for, you know, each other's athletes. Kyle was diagnosed with autism at an early age. He loves swimming, still does, obviously. He would swim and swim, and when his dad, Chris, discovered Special Olympics had a swim program, the 21-year-old was all in. After all, he'd won eight of nine events at a state meet four years ago. It would help me stay in shape and get active. Rewind 13 months and 47 pounds heavier, Kyle and his family by his side took his swimming skills to Indianapolis to train for the 2015 Summer Games. He swam and trained hard four to five days a week. Then June arrived. He got a call to carry the Olympic torch. Like, wow, that's my son there. And it was just, just a phenomenal experience that year. He just never anticipated that coming one day. And in July, Kyle flew to L.A. for the games with his support team all dressed in Team Kyle t-shirts. After it was all over, nobody left disappointed, especially Kyle. He's been out here every day for like an hour swimming, last back and forth, and it's paid off. And then in the game, he's just owned it. I'm very happy for Kyle, and he's been such a great brother to me. He beat a swimmer from Thailand in the 100 freestyle for the gold, and his relay team beat Poland for the gold. And then Kyle took silver in the 50 fly, getting edged out by a swimmer from Syria. That is awesome. I got a brother in the Olympics. That doesn't happen. Who can say that? <laughs> me. Medals were nice, but Kyle's biggest dream came true when he met the greatest swimmer in the world, Michael Phelps. He's really looked to Michael Phelps and really wanted to be like Michael Phelps. So. To meet him and shake his hand and do that was really was a really powerful experience as well. Well, Kyle works at Job Discovery through CCSD and at the YMCA through Opportunity Village. But what really impresses me is he lost 47 pounds preparing for the World Games. Dave, that is a perfect example of hard work and dedication.